Hi, welcome back uh, to my channel. So this is a continuation of my previous episode uh, where I started playing with my new HP 461A uh, linear amplifier. And this video is going to, to basically be, uh, I, I hope, instructive in that I'm going to use one of the functionality that you have on basically every spectrum analyzer, the normalization uh, functionality. So here what you can see is the response of the amplifier to a stimulus coming from the tracking generator. And the amplifier is correctly amplifying the signal um, about 40 dB, okay? So uh, the input is this flat line, uh, imagine uh, uh, it uh, being, mi it's minus, so the signal coming out from the tracking generator is a minus 40 uh, dBm signal, is being amplified and then going inside the spectrum analyzer. I have set already the spectrum analyzer to know that uh, there is a 40 dB uh, amplification going on. So here we see the result and it is pretty much close to the expected uh, uh, 40 dB of amplification. Um, at the moment we have only 1 uh, dB for, di uh, for each division, so this means that the amplification is 40 plus or minus 1, okay? It's uh, within specification. However, I realized after I made the last video that um, this measurement was not uh, correct. And this is because the tracking generator is not an ideal uh, uh, generator does not produce this perfectly flat line at four, minus 40 dBm. Uh, in, instead, uh, let me show it uh, to you, uh, what it produces uh, is uh, this unperfect line. So as you can see, it's a bit too strong at low frequencies, then it's a bit, a bit uh, too weak, and then it stabilizes around uh, minus 40 dBm. So in order to do a very precise measurement of what the amplifier actually does, I have to take into consideration these imperfections. And uh, so let me reactivate the other signal. And to do that, uh, uh, so as you can see, for example, here uh, around this point, uh, um, we have uh, basically around 35 megahertz. We have uh, that uh, tracking generator uh, and the response of the amplifier are basically equal, which means that the amplifier in this point is doing a perfect uh, 40 dB um, measurement, uh, sorry, amplification. Uh, instead here at low frequencies, for example, as you can see, the, the amplifier is uh, losing about uh, 1 dB. And I can easily see this uh, using the uh, um, normalization uh, functionality of the um, spectrum analyzer. And there it is. So this is the real response of the, of the um, amplifier. As you can see, it's still uh, pretty flat around uh, this minus 40. Uh, so let me uh, hide uh, the tracking generator trace uh, for a sec. Okay, so we can just see the result of the perfect of the amplifier. So the flat line now still represents a perfect uh, 40 dB of amplification. As you can see, we are still uh, within specification. So at most, we, we do deviate by 1 dB at uh, low frequencies. But uh, yeah, now we can see that uh, we get a, basically a perfect 40 dB of attenuation at 35 megahertz, or also at this uh, um, frequency around uh, 130 megahertz, okay? Um, right, uh, in fact also at 30 megahertz here, uh, we get uh, almost basically 39.9 uh, dB of uh, amplification. Um, so yeah, this is the real uh, response of the amplifier. So it's a uh, within specification, but the measurement that I made last time was not precise because it was not uh, accounting for the imperfection of the tracking generator. Anyway, now we have uh, this uh, information. So at 30 megahertz, the amplification is basically is basically perfect, 40 dB, and I can verify that uh, using my signal generator that can produce a uh, 30 megahertz signal at minus 40 dBm. So let's have a look. I'm now going to connect uh, uh, the output of the signal generator to the input of uh, uh, the amplifier. And what I expect is to see basically 39.9 uh, or, or something. Let's see. Uh, and uh, yeah, we are measuring basically, it's b b yeah, minus, 0.1 below the line. 
so that's uh, perfect and so yeah this is the way you do a precise measurement not uh, the way I did it last time uh, yeah so the conclusion is that uh, for the next few videos is that the amplifier works perfectly is it is within specification and importantly it amplifies a precise uh, 40 dB at uh, 30 megahertz okay I hope uh, this video was useful and uh, if you have any comments uh, feel free to leave them in the section below and I'll see you next time bye bye